I just discovered a very unique and creative way for you to create your professional LinkedIn headshot using AI. Here is my original photo and here is the AI generated professional picture. And if you want to do the same, just head over to openart.ai and actually you will find a link to it in the description as well as a little discount code. And then choose image on the left hand side and then where it says model or character, switch and click this nano banana model. So this is the newest AI editor model that is absolutely insane. Then for example, you can specify a prompt. You can tell the AI what you want to do with an image. So for example, make the man wear a dark blue suit and turn the background into an office space. And then just drop your image into the view. So um, here is the photo that I will use. This is a real selfie of me. So I will just drag and drop it into this view over here. And then you can decide how many images you want to create. So I will create one for now and that will cost me 15 credits. And speaking of that, that is roughly $0.05 on the cheapest monthly plan. If you create 100 headshots using this, um, it will cost you $5 only. So that is pretty cheap. And now here is our result. So as you can see, it is very close to what I look like. It is pretty much exactly the same image, but now I'm in an office space and I'm also wearing a suit instead of this kind of a casual attire. So this is really, really awesome. I absolutely love it. It's just something to mention. If you do this, be prepared that some of the results are not that great. For example, I don't like the fact that it changed my facial expression a bit here. And also in this one, I look like a 3D character. So if you create 10 of these, I will guarantee you that you'll get at least one that looks super realistic. I will also show you another example. So I, I think this is super awesome as well. So here is a photo that my wife took of me like a week ago, two weeks ago when we were visiting Copenhagen. And now I'd like to change the outfit to me wearing a blue suit. So that's also something I can actually do here. So I will drop the image into the view. So I will tell the AI to make the man wear a blue suit with brown shoes and remove the bag from the hand. And let's actually create, let's do two images this time and let's hit create. And here is the image number one. <laughs> I mean, isn't that awesome? And here is the image number two. So both of these are very successful. Here is the original photo on a closer look. And here is the AI generated photo on a closer look as well. It doesn't mess up my face. I still look pretty much exactly the same, but now the attire has changed. I will show you also as a comparison because this is something you could do on ChatGPT as well. So here I have told the AI to recreate this image, but make me look um, or make it look like a professional headshot. And here's the result. Well, this is kind of cool, but it looks like a <laughs> steroid version of me. So you can clearly tell that this is an AI generated photo, or at least that there is something off in this photo. But this is still pretty impressive. But the problem arises when you start to zoom out a bit. So for instance, I told the AI to recreate this picture and make me wear a suit. Well, it kind of did it, but now let me actually show you what it looks like on a closer range. So if I zoom it in, my face looks absolutely terrible. So it doesn't look like a face at all. So that's the problem here. So if you wanted to edit photos using AI, just a couple of days ago, the best you would get is something like this, unless you use some um, technical knowledge or some editing skills. So this is the closer, closest you could get as an amateur photo editor. Thanks to the Nano Banana model with which you can play with in open art, you can do stuff like this or stuff like this in just a couple of seconds with a very simple input.